um, I'd been seeing Guy for quite a while, and um, I'd found out he was cheating on me. Yeah. So I decided to get my own back after a lot of um, finding out what was going on. I was told exactly what was going on. So I changed his well-known um, shampoo conditioner for a well-known brand of ladies hair removal cream. <laughs> Just oh before he was going to go on a night out to meet a certain guy. No way! Oh, does that actually work? Because I've seen that in the movies. Does that <laughs> it actually, actually work? actually works. He actually laid in the bath for 25 minutes because he had so. Don't get me wrong, he had beautiful hair. But I thought enough's enough and I thought I need to draw a line under this. So um, I emptied half the bottle of conditioner and I filled it with a well-known brand, can't say the name obviously, yeah. of um, hair removal cream. So when... And to to disguise, the, to disguise the smell of the actual hair removal cream, I actually sprayed his fragrant, fragrant brands. fragrance. You really did think that through, didn't you? In with it. So um, after he was, it, so he was in the bath and then decided he was going to rinse off his hair, went like that, and did it all come off? It literally came out like he had alopecia. <sighs> oh, I see. We can't condone any of this behaviour, but that's brilliant. <laughs> Well, um, my ex and I, we had split up the week before. I wasn't quite sure why he'd ended the relationship. But when I went back to the house, we weren't actually living together, but there were some items of mine in the house. And I went back um, a week later to return the key, knowing that he wouldn't be in. And uh, obviously, I went into the house and um, I went around the house and into each room. And I did something in each room. Um, uh, uh, sort of looking, you know, to see what I could do. I won't go into what I did in all the other rooms, but when I went into the bathroom, um, I saw the toothbrush, and as your previous caller said, the red mist had come up because I'd just discovered that he'd actually got another woman and he'd had her in the bed the night before. Um, there was a love note on, on, the, on the pillow, which is how I knew. Um, so that's when I got really, really angry, went into the bathroom and took his toothbrush out of the toothbrush holder and cleaned the toilet with it. And um, there were a few lumpy bits, I suppose, on the toothbrush. Oh! So I sort of knocked them into the toilet <laughs> and then made sure it looked all right and then put it back into the toothbrush holder. And um, there wouldn't have been very much revenge, really, unless I'd actually told him about it. So I did, but not not for another two weeks. I was about to say, yes, Fire. you waited. Oh via an email, goodness. so I didn't see his face, but uh, I'd have loved to have been a fly on the wall. Yeah, terrible breath, I would have thought. Oh, <laughs> thank you very oh, much for goodness. that. Mine says rain for the hour, right now, it's right now, good. where we're we are. We're having a battle of the apps here. This is very annoying because these apps are very clever nowadays, and they tell you the minutes. This is like rain coming, eight minutes, rain, six minutes, and we, we know were how competitive we are. We are so competitive. We're not actually fighting with our apps. Mine says it's raining now. I we... stood. Just 15 seconds before we You're came on air. You're inside now. Yeah, but I went outside. I went okay. outside. I went outside. Mine says it's going to rain in eight minutes. Well, we'll see. All right, what we need is... Good we've got a spare runner to go and stand outside. <laughs> we need someone to go and stand outside. Well, a cloudy day in June might cloudy. not be... <laughs> Chucking it down out here. It is really Who's chucking it down. Stupid idea was it to do this outside? <laughs> we have a real, a real life leak. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, it's up in the wiring. Yeah, it's right where that light is, right above my head. Don't want to worry you, but it's dripping down the wires. Oh, there we go. Just I stand we, there. Can, we can have a. No! <laughs> <laughs> I see it's like that, is it? Okay. <gasps> it's stopped raining. No, it has not. Your app is out. It it's... stopped raining. What time is it? What time 11 is it? 11.59. And what it time did you say? It was four minutes out. And you've just tweeted as well, taking the mick. So it's four minutes out and you it stopped it raining. bang on. Happy Valentine's Day. Give me a kiss for me. Kiss. Mm -hmm. Happy and if there, Valentine's. If there is love in your life as well, congratulations. It's a nice thing. It's a nice thing. And especially the, the mystery of who has sent you cards. I've been inundated today. Have Thank you. you. <laughs> Very much indeed. My wife <laughs> is wish. so... She's so lovely, but she's so predictable. So she sends me this present, and with it is a card, and it says, Happy Valentine's Day. She writes on it, To my husband from your wife. <laughs> Well, I don't Why? want you to think it's from anyone else. Why could you just put a big put lipstick all over you? Now. Well, the ones that I did for you, I just put question this marks. This is lovely, on them. actually. Look, I came down the stairs this morning thinking Eamon was still in bed, and I thought oh, we'll probably do Valentine's later. And then I found this on my hall. So I tell you, I was look, out. Roses. There's a 24-hour petrol station just round the corner from us, <laughs> and I was out there. Why do you pretend you're not romantic? Because you are. So I what happened here? This involves a meal. 
Yeah, it involves, it involves uh, my hus- now husband asking me for a meal, but we weren't married then, obviously. And it took ages to get it hooked up. But finally I did. He made this beautiful meal. Uh, there was candlelight everywhere, a nice rug on the floor. We moved to the rug on the floor. And I was still drinking Jack Daniels and Coke. He finally moved in for the for the kiss. As I was laying back, I was like, whoa, whoa, everything's spinning. And then I just had to run to his toilet, and I was sick all over the toilet, all over everywhere. But not just that. Unfortunately, with the pressure of pushing out the sick, I kind of had a little wee all over his floor as well. <laughs> but he, but he put, me, put me to bed. <laughs> Did he? I expect he was probably <laughs> glad to be rid of you. Oh, my gosh! That was your, that was your first date. now we're date. married, so it's good. Yeah, yeah you, what a great way to start. Did you just wake up the next morning and go, oh, my God, tell me that didn't just happen last night? Um, I, I kind of had to be reminded of what was happened last night. I knew something wasn't right, but he was just a gentleman about everything. Oh. And now so, you're married? And now we're married. We're eight years married. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> so there you go. Even when you think a date's an absolute disaster, yeah, it doesn't necessarily yeah. mean it is.